Hello, it's ten past nine and I'm just about to head over there to the Excel Centre for the Doctor Who Festival. Just walking over to the Excel Centre. I really wish I'd brought my seventh Doctor umbrella because it's pretty wet. Okay, so I'm inside now. I'm going to try and find the main queue for the Doctor Who bit, and I'm also going to try and find all my fellow YouTubers and my co host Gary. I was going to creep up on you, <laughs> hey, Gary, co host, Hello. Big Blue Box Podcast. Hello. Ah, you saw me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'd forgotten how big the XL Centre is and I was getting worried because I couldn't see anything related to Doctor Who or any cosplayers or anything, but it's fine. I can see the TARDIS, so I know I'm in the right place. Davros. About to meet Davros. Have you had a word with Davros? Uh, not yet, he's looking a bit, a bit touchy. <laughs> <laughs> good. Who's this? Um, Toy, is that? Oh, oh, good. oh, yeah, of course it is, yeah. Clara, are you in there? Truth or consequence? Danny the special effects man there, dusting some fake snow off a Dalek. Fantastic! Look at that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay, it is the host. Hello. And Bradders. Oh, well, AKA the I sixth him, doctor. I found him wandering around. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hello. Hello. Look who it is. Tell him hello. The sixth one. Seriously, it's Matthew Rowney. Hello! Bartling! Bartling! Yay! See, I know. Like the John Dix, Epic Who. Yeah! There's James Wilson. There's James Wilson. There's James Wilson. Look. Hello, James Wilson. Who's he? Uh, no, I don't look. I don't know. Jacob Martin, the sport reclusive. Team Drew! Hello! <laughs> We're just in the queue for Meet the Writers. Yeah. Meet the Writers. Can you get a seat? Look at this guy's target. Yeah. 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 Can I ask, who have you got signed on that brilliant target? Uh, I have got Doctors 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got John Barman, I've got Eve Miles, I've got Gareth David Lloyd, I've got Nicholas Briggs, I've got John Levine, I've got Fraser Hines, it's amazing. I've got Karen Gillen, I've got. Arthur Darville, I've got David Warner, William Russell, Mary Tam, <laughs> Barney so Gorman, Terry Malloy, <laughs> for eight years. Amazing. Wow. We're going to be talking to Sarah Dollard, who is the author of that episode. We've also got Peter Harness, uh, the author of the Zygon episodes that we've seen recently. And we have the showrunner, Stephen Boffer, too. All on this couch, very, very soon, when we've seen a little bit of their work. 
Um, well, I'm uh, the head writer and executive producer, often called showrunner, but that's a journalist. Um, I'm the head, I mean, no, I'm in charge of fiction in Doctor Who. If it didn't really happen, I gave the order. I never write it down, I, because I didn't my first year. I didn't write the, uh, the, the season Bible down, as it were. I just had a sort of oral tradition in my head. I could do all of season five. I could probably still do season five, off the top of my head, story after story. What's uh, your question, Jim? Um, I was just going to ask, in The Bells of St. John, mm -hmm. uh, Artie Maitland was reading a book called Summer Falls, and it said that the author was Amelia Williams. Is that referring to Amy Pond? Yes, that is Amelia Williams. She, used, she writes under her, uh, under her married name. Okay. Which now that strikes me completely improbable for things for Amy to do. So it must actually be Rory. Now that I think on it, <laughs> and because of his personal level of uh, you know individual crisis, put it under his wife's married name. <laughs> but in the other circumstances, would he ever get to see it written down? Uh, so give them all a big round of applause as we welcome in no particular order Stephen Moffat, Ingrid Oliver, Michelle Gomez, Jenna Coleman, and Peter. <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, I mean, the idea that you would try and make a web planet populated by insects, you know, in a tiny studio in Hammersmith with no money, just some cardboard uh, and some uh, uh, imagination and some ambition, I think is wonderful. So I hate looking at all, I hate watching. You know, I sat and watched the whole of the Web Planet, and it was quite hard going, really. Um, but the worst thing was, it sort of d destroyed the image I had of them in my head. Because I saw that when it went out, as a child, and it lived in my imagination so potently and so powerfully. So I would love to see the Zabi of the Monoptera show up again, somehow. But with our new technology, which would make them look sensational. And absolutely beautiful design. I don't know if I'm anything to do with it yet, but uh, I think they're, I think they're quite extraordinary as a, as a piece of work. So maybe that. But I have got another couple in my mind, but I might be doing those. So I'm not telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so we just come out of the meet the writers slash meet the cast. Yep. Um, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was really good. I actually really yep. enjoyed it. Um, started off with Matthew Sweet talking to. Helen, now what was her name? We're not good with names. I completely agree. Oh no! Look! Oh. Photo bombs. Actually, great. What did you guys think to that Meet the Cast? It was, um, meet it was the good. Writers. It was better than Meet the Writers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Meet the Writers. Yeah. We were struggling to find where you yeah, were. Yeah, it was a bit slow. Yeah. yeah. It was good though, with the, the whole Meet the Cast was actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> lot, lot of love in the room for Jenna. A lot of love. Yeah. 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 Love yeah. Jenna. Um, and Peter, you know, Peter's love for the Zarbis. Yeah, I know, yeah. Once the Zarbis back. Yeah, so it's good, wasn't it? It was actually pretty important. And the moth was on top for me. Oh God, was he? He was. Um, he was swearing his head off. He, he was swearing his head off. He wasn't taking any. I know, yeah. He, he was, yeah. Capaldi was good. Shot a few 
a few good answers. Yes, yeah. yeah. But he was quite quiet, but he did. When he when he spoke, he was he was quite interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. Some interesting people in the audience as well. Yeah, there yeah, were a few interesting yeah. people in the audience. Yeah, there was. That's, that's one way to describe them. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, there was one guy that criticised Jenna in Series Seven, which the moth didn't take kindly to no, at all. Oh, that was hilarious. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he kind of kind of. was like, oh dear. He kind of slammed that. that guy right down, yeah. didn't he? But yeah, very good. So, what's next? What are we doing next? Um, well, I understand you've got a Capaldi fort. Well, I've got to go and find Tom Dix. That's what yeah, we're going. We're, go, we're, we're getting Bradley to do that. Right. Oh, what's Gary going to do? Gary's going to go and spend loads of money in the shop. Spend some money in the shop when everyone's doing their photo ops, so I'll get all the good deals now. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to go and find Tom, and we're going to go and meet Peter Capaldi. Um, Tom's just uh, just there. Now, what's going on with you? Who have you just met? I have just met Michelle Gomez. Oh, we're Missy. not jealous at all, are we? <laughs> yeah. No, Missy is absolutely lovely. She is the most loveliest woman ever. She's insane, and she seemed really grateful that Tom said that she was her favourite mas his favourite master. Cool. She was like, "Thank you," and just like you know. So it, she's absolutely lovely. She is. She pulls faces and everything. She has a proper laugh with it. <laughs> nice ones. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Hello, Tom Dix. What Hello. has been happening? Who have you met? Michelle. Wow. Yeah. Was she cool? She was. I said I told her she was my favourite master, and we had a we had, we had a kind of conversation through through arm movements. Oh. And yeah. Was, she was so nice. Excellent. She's so what's so happening nice. now? Who are we meeting? We're about to meet Peter Capaldi. We are. We are. We are. Let's do it. Oh. So quite a quite a lot of people waiting to meet. I like the idea of Peter Capaldi. That. Look at their excited little faces. <laughs> right on cue. You, you paid your money. We are this close to him, Tom. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide. You've just we met Capaldi, how was that? It was very good. Wonderful. Yeah. It was average. Was oh, Brad, so hard to please you are. <laughs> Mr. Host Productions. Hello. Hey. I'm done. I can die happy. Wow, that was quick. Oh Hang on, I need to get your grin. It's really good. Get your grin. Yeah. There's Peter. So we've, we've just come out of the photo studio from meeting Mr. Capaldi. Mr. Capaldi, and it, it was brilliant, wasn't it? It was. I mean, like he actually, he looked at me, we shook hands, it was really nice. It, it was brief, but he, he looked in the eye, said hello, and it, it was, yeah, it was great. I'm very pleased with that picture. Yes. It's a very good picture. Thank you, Tom Dix That's from okay. Epic Who. That's okay, go subscribe to him. Go subscribe to this <laughs> man. Yeah. Right, in all the excitement, I've forgotten I got this iconic set photo, so I'm just going to get it. Apparently, it's Clara's bedroom or living room. Anyway, let's go see. Mmm, Subway. Mm, yeah. Subway, look. It's the James Despite Wilson. I used to work at Subway, the food is still good. <laughs> So James Wilson from Who Alex Reviews. Yes. What have you What have you bought at this fantastic festival? Well, today, Adam, <laughs> I I bought to my co-host and best friend's dismay. I bought a portrait poster of Peter Capaldi's Doctor with the guitar in the Sonic shirt. Wow, that's that's going to please Jack. Is that going to be in the background of every video from now on? Or? I I think I may just do that. Yes, yes. I think Matthew I may, will love I it. I think I may just make Matthew look at it and stare at it and and see if he doesn't, you know, go in an absolute rage. We could be witnessing the beginning of the end we, of Who Alex Reviews it. Could be. You yeah. could be. <laughs> yeah. That could be a biopic movie. So here's where all the here's where all the dosh has gone. Yes, definitely. You got some good stuff on it, bit. Yes, I got um, I got two of the recent Torchwood audios. I said I would. I said I'd splurge on Big Finish because 
I've only just started to get into Big Finish this year, and that wasn't because like you know knew who was coming into it or anything. Um, so yeah, I got uh, Gareth David Lloyd's episode of Torchwood, Fall to Earth, Ooh, that story, and nice. also uh, Eve Miles and Kyle Owen, Gwen Cooper and Reese in uh, Forgotten Lives. Yeah, nice big close up on that. Yeah, yes, very, definitely very cool. Very, very yeah, cool. and uh, also Jago and Lightfoot and Strax. What the, the cover on that, that's very cool. Yeah, what an absolutely perfect pairing. What an absolutely perfect pairing. And so, the icing on the cake is Kate Stewart in Unit Extinction. Wow, this looks good. I'd it say looks, looks really absolutely good. brilliant. Really I good. cannot wait to listen to all of these. And you bought some classic Got 2 DVDs, but you don't yes. have to get them all out. But... No, 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 I bought Genesis of the Daleks, Vengeance on Varos, and The Green Death. Yeah, wow. Some good stuff there, mate. Definitely. Some very, very good stuff. I'll definitely. Be definitely stealing that at some point, and probably all the rest. And all Gary, any... my dead body. Oh, your dead body. And Gary, any new slippers or socks or...? Uh, no, no yeah. slippers today. No. Nothing the... at all. What's all this shopping? What's all this shopping there? <laughs> so I've got an adipose. Oh, look at that. This is for my wife, because she he finds He says him. it's for his wife, but I don't believe him, but yeah. Look, look at all this stuff. Oh, all this stuff. Now this cute. is this is Ben Lett's twelfth doctor. Yeah, ben he Lett thinks he's getting that back. <laughs> I, I'm having that. I'm having that. Yeah, so that's that's ours to share, six yeah. months a year. Yeah. Yeah. So new new crimbo jumper. Which I'm gonna be rocking. Oh you got that! Oh you but you Ooh, saw yes. mm. yeah. New Crimbo jumper. Yeah, I want that. Uh, the official hardcover event planner thingy. Yeah. This is all good stuff. Yeah. And uh, my icing on the cake. The icing on the cake. Icing on the cake. On the cake. Thanks for the. Oh it's, no! Uh, oh my god! It's gone. Oh, my it's my eyes are green with envy. Tardis. Look at oh, that! Oh my god, that is beautiful. James, he's let you touch it. He wouldn't let me near oh, it because he knew he'd never see it again. Tardis is going into siege mode. Siege mode. So I love that. Awesome. That is a thing yeah. of beauty. Yeah. 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 A lot of people be like, why did? What? Why? No, that's yeah. brilliant. And I just yeah. Good so, stuff, guys. Yeah, so we've had yep. a good day shopping. Yeah. We're supposed to be here admiring the people from the show, mingling with friends, but it's yep. just been like a, a massive shopathon, really. <laughs> cool. so it's all good. It's been all of it, really. You say gaitis, I say gatis. Let's call the whole show off. I know there's always sometimes it's a bit of a debate about whether something should be CG or not. The, the well, I remember the werewolf thing too. I think I'm gonna buy this. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. I'm not sure my big head's going to fit in there. We'll see, I'll give we'll it a see. go. It is right. quite old, so Dude. the foam is a bit right, okay. less than stretch. All right, lean right forward, yep. lean right forward. Put your head in and sort of push your head in slowly for me. There you go. <laughs> I'm coming round. So, starting with you. That's yes, you. Hello. You're going to end the day now. How's it been? Amazing. Amazing? Brilliant. Yep. Fantastic. Mr. Brownie, fantastic. Quoting the ninth doctor there. Fantastic. Bradley, the sixth doctor, how's it been? Average. No. No, it's been amazing. Oh, yeah, me worried. Hello. Mr. Hiya. Harry Williams, 789-1015. How's it been? <laughs> and Joseph Oliver, how's it been? Oh, uh, what was it? It was 24816, oh, Harry Williams, 96. And it, how's the festival been? <laughs> Been all right, you been know. Right. I, oh, the so people awesome I've met, please. the people I've met here, have just been like horrible. Like there's yeah. this guy called Hua Dicks and Epic Hua. That, yeah, that, <laughs> that, that Amber as well. Amber, how's what? the festival been? What it's was been that? Good, it's been pretty good. She got a very good picture. Of you. Tom Dix, yes. he's gone. Have you all come? Nice to meet. We're being thrown out.
James, while we're being ejected, could you just tell me how the festival's been? Well, me, the Colonel. Yes. I think that this festival has been wonderful. Wonderful. The only thing that could have made it better is if it was bombed. Now that. <laughs> well, actually, as you heard as it Brigadier the... Rodbridge Stewart, I have to say that the Hooadix reviews are absolutely god awful. Well, you, sir, are a pillar. <laughs> you heard it there? Cousins, my friends, how's the festival been for you? Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Cousin says awesome. Well, have I missed anyone out? Gary, how's the festival been? Um, yes, yeah, been right. Yeah, yeah. I'm too impressed. No, it's been awesome, yeah. Been awesome. Have I missed anybody? No, I think the conclusive word of the day is awesome. Okay. Bye, everybody. So as I left the festival, I reflected on what a brilliant day it had been and all the amazing people that I'd met and the fact that everybody there had been brought together by one incredible TV show, Doctor Who.